Where is it? It's not here, man. All right, it's gotta be down here, right? It's gotta be on here. Now, dude, come on. I lost my creativity, I lost my ambition, I lost my drive. It's not in here. Jeez. All right, so here's the deal. I'm sure you have days like this where you're bored, you know? It's like, I don't have any creativity, I have no ambition whatsoever. I don't know what I feel like doing. I'm caught up on work. The summer is over. <sighs> you know what? Sometimes, sometimes you gotta just think out the box. You gotta just do something, anything, anything. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do some street photography in my own city because it's fun. I get to get some exercise, walk around, and not photograph for a client. Let me go just capture what I see and be creative along the way and see what happens. So let's talk about this street photography that I had a chance to go do in my uh, good old town of New Orleans. Let's check this out. All right, so these guys were painting on this building. And I was just walking around, and of course, New Orleans is all full of color. I was like, ah, let me wait until the dude on the bottom looks to his right so I can get a profile on him. That other dude needs to be just working on the building, just, you know, casually. So as I kind of waited for my, my shot to happen, when it did, boom. And uh, none of this is anything to do with Photoshop. I love the fact that it was overcasted, the sky color is nice, it's nothing too bright, all my even tones are there, the colors are beautiful, they're still vibrant enough without needing that bright sun to be beating on the building. The other, the other thing that I do like about the image is whenever you do happen to get people in it or cars or vehicles, um, if, even if they're holding cell phones into their head while you're candidly getting some images, you're time stamping the right now, you know? What this guy is wearing, those kinds of shorts, those kinds of shoes, those type of glasses that are on his head resting, you know, those are things that people are casually wearing now. In another 10, 15 years from now, the most likely they will not be wearing something like this, and it'll look like today. It'll be time-stamped as far as today. So that part's really cool. Um, I really did do, I like that a lot. As I was in Jackson Square, I can't help it, man. I love animals. When I see something cute happening, I gotta get it. And oh, these guys, these birds, these little sparrows. <sighs> sparrows or finches? I don't know which ones these things are. Let's just call them sparrows, shall we? I wanted to get them taking their little bath, but of course I wanted to stop the action. So I immediately went to Shutter Priority and just cranked it up as high as I can. I think this is at... Uh, two thousandths of a second or maybe a little bit under there it was it's a, it's still a daytime shot so when your f-stop is wide open your shutter speed can be very fast how cool is that that guy is tack sharp i can see all of the little water droplets from the mess that we're doing and this to me is fun so as you're as you're walking around your own city you know if you start paying attention to everything else that is around you you start seeing things you start seeing the same views, but if you change the angle you normally see them, sometimes it becomes an artsy, creative image. And just capturing one of those kinds of images makes me feel better. I start feeling, it's like fueling, it's like that lithium battery starting to get charged up again. That's what happens with me. I start to smile again, I start to get more happier. I like nailing the shot. We just get so mundane in our work, I think we forget about the fun things and the reasons why we originally fell in love with photography. So, this is one of them. This dude, just chilling, 
He's playing his little trumpet. He's a, he stopped to be a street uh, performer, I guess, and nobody was tipping him. He was basically bored, and that's why you see his little nonchalant sit back in his chair like I'm gonna toot my horn and I don't care if nobody's paying me, man. I'm just gonna play anyway. So I hid behind a bush, which is why you see this in the bottom left corner, that flare of green. Um, that is actually one of those bushes you see behind him. They're on my side of the camera. So I was using it to give a little bit of foreground, just to give me a little bit more 3D action from foreground to subject to background. And I shot real tight and I love how the colors he's wearing complements and pops off of the background that he is against. That's just cool, man. These are like the essentials of photography and it was fun to use my knowledge on the fly and get some street photography and still have something that I could easily hang somewhere. This is just a really, really cool print. Um, even in black and white, this will look great, but the colors are just too fantastic to ignore. So you know how you walk around and you see some older people enjoying themselves? I love capturing older people uh, around, the, around the city when they're not looking because I, you don't know their relationship. I don't know if they're married. I'm not sure if they're just friends. Are they brothers and sisters? I'm not sure. Obviously, if they're holding hands, that's different. But this dude with the red shirt, he just seems to pull himself off the background all by himself. The only other thing that's red in the background is the furthest in the background, that window, that window pane is red. But I liked how it, how it complemented his shirt and that thin crop I did allowed me to keep my visual eye on my subject using the textures of this alleyway and the buildings. Pretty cool, huh? Oh man, so I hope I helped somebody be a little bit creative today you know sometimes your simplest ideas can be some of your best and you'll never know where you find creativity but you're not gonna find it if you don't go looking for it so do some street photography in your own city and see what happens make a video share with us email me say something in the comments tell me what you love to do in your spare time with your camera ah, that was a mouthful so if you're new to the channel, my name is George. Welcome to Focus with GK. Photography is my life and I enjoy showing you the behind the scenes of what I do and I just can't wait for the next video where I share something else awesome from my city of New Orleans. So keep focused on your dreams, you guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.